How are we doing guys? Uh, just in the training room and um, so I've got, a, I've got a, a student in, he was in yesterday and he fitted five night latches, all fresh fit from scratch. Um, never done a night latch before uh, and he smashed it actually. Right, so what we're gonna do now, a um, bit more making good. So Matthew's gonna make good that and we're gonna trim out there and he's gonna make good that. So we'll see how he gets on. guys uh, just in the training room and um, so I've got a, I've got a, a student in he was in yesterday and he fitted five night latches all fresh fit from scratch um, never done a night latch before uh, and he smashed it actually come in today and there was one night latch that we didn't get around to doing yesterday which is the British Standard Yale which can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, so he's done that this morning which is here and he's also fitted his first ever deadlock so let's have a quick look he's just gone for lunch but you know what he ain't done a bad job at all you know I'm pretty impressed considering this is his first First ever deadlock and first attempt at, a, at the Yale British Standard Night Latch. Like I say, they can be an absolute pain in the backside. But yeah, done really well. I can hear him coming. He's coming. Who's that? Who's that imposter? <laughs> yeah, no, he's doing really, he's doing really, really well. He's just come back with his lunch. Right, that's the end of day two. Um, Matt's completed his second day, so we did some mortise locks today. He also, uh, like I said earlier, we didn't get a chance to fit the Yale, uh, the British Standard Yale night latch yesterday, but he did it this morning. And then we did a, this, this, this uh, deadlock, I got him to do by hand. I wanted him, I don't just want to show him how to use the, well, any students really, just to, how to use the salver jig. Because there may be times when you can't use the salver jig. So uh, I wanted him to do one by hand, which, and, and do you know what? Like I say, he's not used a hammer and chisel before. Look at that. He had this knot, this knot to contend with as well. He's done, done a fantastic job. Um, and <clears throat> on the keep there, do you know what? on a job, a little bit of decorator's cork around that. That ain't bad at all. Uh, and then we used the salber jig. We put, a, we put a two and a half inch in, um, and then I got him to swap it over for a three inch. So 
I wanted him to, you know, to kind of be able to approach a door, see that it's a two and a half inch, and then if he needed to change it to a three inch, I wanted to show him how to do that as well. So uh, he did that and put a cover of scutcheon on to cover the, the holes like that. And yeah, fantastic. The way this door shuts is lovely. It's so nice. So look at that. And beautiful. So yeah, he's done a lovely job. Really pleased. I'm really pleased with how it's, um, how it's all going. So, so tomorrow we're going to do a Euro, a Euro deadlock. No, sorry, we're going to do a Euro sash lock. I'm um, going to show him the difference with fitting handles or fitting, um, you know, like a, a, a proper handle set or a rose set with um, a separate Euro escutcheon as well. Um, and then we're going to go on to some making good. So um, yeah, we're going to we're going to make good some of these holes here where he's put these uh, night latches in. So we're going to make good as if you're changing from a forty mil night latch to a 60, how you'd make good the holes on, on the door like that. Um, just open the door again. And then we're gonna make good some of these as well. So if a customer says, uh, I don't want it, it's too high. And you want, I want it moved down here somewhere. So I'm gonna teach them how you make good that. And we'll make good up here as well. Um, and then we're gonna put the architrave back on. That There was an architrave on here yesterday because um, I wanted to make it a little bit sort of, didn't want to make it too easy. So I had an architrave on here and he's had to chop out for the keeps on the architrave. I'm going to put that back on and I'm going to get him to make good a couple of those bits where the architrave is. Um, and then we're going to simulate uh, a break-in. So we're going to we're going to smash a little bit this frame and he's going to make that good as well. So keep watching and then you'll see how he gets on tomorrow. Right, day three, got Matt here still, uh, and today is the making good day. What we have done is he's fitted this uh, Euro deadlock, Euro sash lock, sorry. Um, he's never done one before, and yeah, done a fantastic job using the apex, the apex cylinders. So nice. So he did the. He used the Selba jig cutting the uh, the sash lock out, but we cut the um, we cut the box out actually uh, using the the offset attachment. But then he, he cut this out by hand, and uh, yeah, he done a lovely job. Uh, then we done a making good. So we presumed that there was a forty mil um, hole here. Sorry, a, a hole here for a forty mil night latch, um, but he was going to fit a sixty. So I showed him how to fill this hole and then re-drill through for that, which he's done a fantastic job. And then um, where we fitted a deadlock here yesterday, um, like this basically, then showed him how to make this good. And that is as smooth as you can get. I can't even feel that at all. So lovely job, Matthew. He's hiding around the corner. Didn't want to be, there he is, look, there he is. <laughs> he didn't want to be in it. But uh, yeah, so um, we haven't finished yet though. We're gonna put the architrave back on here, which is there. And he's now gonna do some more making good on the architrave. I won't get him to do all of these. We'll be here forever. And he wants to leave early today. Right, so what we're gonna do now, a um, bit more making good. So Matthew's gonna make good that, and we're gonna trim out there, and he's gonna make good that, so. We'll see how he gets on. Look 
at this bit of making good. It's fantastic. Look at that. Perfect. And then around this side, down that frame. Lovely, it's absolutely spot on. Right, we're gonna smash this up now. from that picture that you just saw of this frame all smashed up and um, we've managed to get it all back I mean that's so smooth now once that's if that was painted you wouldn't you wouldn't even know but what we did to reinforce I showed Matt to, uh, how to reinforce there's a couple of ways that I do it but one of the ways is to resin a bar into the frame so that goes all the way up to about there and goes all the way down to about there and that's resined into the actual um, into the actual frame so yeah if he was on a live job and the customer was you know worried that that was that sort of thing was going to happen again if it, if it had been bashed in by someone then that obviously reinforces it and then all of this is just the obviously the same architrave that's just been repaired and if that was painted you wouldn't even know There you go. So that's the first training course done and dusted. So Matt was here for the three day, three day course. The day one was night latches. Um, day two was deadlocks, and then day three was the timber frame and uh, timber making good and repair course. So um, I think he enjoyed it. He said he enjoyed it, and um, he done really well. To be fair, like I say, he was uh, pretty good for, for his first attempt at. at you know, timber work like that and, and fitting night latches and deadlocks, he was really good. So very, very pleased. And uh, yeah, hopefully he is as well. Right, that's the end of this video, guys. Thanks again, as always, for tuning in. Any nice comments down there. If you want any more information on the training courses, just pop over to my website, um, lockswood.co.uk, and there's a page all about the training courses. And then just contact me and we can get you booked in. Thanks, guys. Happy weekend.